Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Today we're making a birthday card from this Hero Art stamp set, this pineapple layering stamp set. Great and just in time for summer. I actually made this a few months ago for my sister-in-law. So we're going to be using Distressed Oxide inks. I'm still playing with that a little bit. So these are the colors for the body. It's Fossilized Amber, Spice Marmalade, Vintage Photo, and in that order. And then for the leaf or the, the stems, it's Ice Spruce, Peeled Paint, and Cracked Pistachio. Also in that order. Um, I, I love layering stamps. I kind of love the effect of this and how it turned out. When I first started stamping, I was actually using my stamp positioner, and then I just realized it's going to be too cumbersome. So I also started using my Fiskars Compact Press, and I was like, nope, still too cumbersome. <laughs> so ultimately, I ended up just stamping everything with just a stamp block, and that turned out great. I just basically positioned everything, and then I kind of do just one color at a time, um, so like I had done the base layer of the body and then the base layer of the actual um, leaf part, I guess, of the pineapples just so I can get the positioning. And in between, I was also heat setting as well. So now I'm coming in and die cutting out the happy saying from the Lawn Fawn scripty dies and uh, making sure I'm saving all the bits. In total, I actually also die cut five other happies from just general regular cardstock. Now I'm just coming in with the Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue and just basically gluing everything down and then I'm going to add it to the base of the card. So I decided to go ahead and use Crap Card Stock for the base just to add that little bit of contrast. So I'm just going to line it up and adhere the front of the card to the base of the card. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and stick the happy back on there so I can fill it in with the middle bits and then glue the middle bits. I know some card makers like to omit the middle bits, but I actually like it because, you know, I'm kind of a bit of a perfectionist. If you don't know me, I kind of like everything to be in its place. So now I'm just coming in with that glue and gluing in the, the bits and now I'm going to take off the happy. And then... I'm going to go ahead and stack the um, glue and stack the rest of the uh, the happy with the normal cardstock. There's one of the happies that I actually, because I was using scrap paper, um, on the very bottom you can see, I think it was on the Y that it was kind of chopped off, but it's fine because I knew I was layering it, so see that, I think there it is right there. So I just kept layering it on and it turned out really great. I'd seen this technique done before with a lot of crafters and I figured I wanted to try it. It's kind of a cool visual effect because you can kind of, it's raised so you can definitely see if you're looking head on that happy is there. Uh, but off to the side you can definitely see it. See it's like really noticeable in person. Um, in pictures it doesn't do that justice but I love it so much. I'm gonna have to try this technique again with some other stuff. So I'm just coming in and just doing the birthday part. I grabbed some brown cardstock and then just stamped it with some Versamark ink and then just heat embossed it in white. So I will have all the supplies listed in the description box. Now I'm just adhering it with some 3M foam tape. And then I decided to add just a little bit of sparkle and shimmer with some sequins, some iridescent sequins, and that finishes the card. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.